This is a quick tutorial about how to name alkanes. Alkanes, which are fully saturated hydrocarbons, that is, they only have sigma bonds between the carbons and the hydrogens, are nonpolar and they have no handle of reactivity, so they're not very interesting chemically. But if we learn how to name them, and we can name a lot of other things later on. So to name them, uh, there are only four simple rules. The first one is find the longest carbon chain. Then you identify all the side chains that you haven't named. You number the backbone, the longest carbon chain, so that the side chains get the lowest aggregate numbers. And then you name the compound by making sure that each side chain has a locant, a number telling where it is, and then arrange the name in alphabetical order. And now we'll do some examples to show you what I mean. Here's a table with the first 10 alkanes, uh, 1 through 10. Uh, the, the lowest, CH4, has the name methane. And if it appears as a side chain, that is, with on, a side chain with only one carbon, then we call it methyl. Two carbons, ethane. A two-carbon side chain, ethyl. And so on up to C10. So here's our first example. And the first thing we need to do is to find the longest carbon chain. So here it is. There are four carbons in a line here. So four carbons gives us a butane. And the only carbon that's not encompassed in the name is this one here. So that's a one carbon side chain. So that would be a methyl. All right. And now what we need to do, now that we've identified all the carbons, is to number the backbone so that the side chain gets the lowest number. There's only one side chain here. So we're going to number it from the right. One, two, three, four. Because if we numbered it from the other side, right, which we're not going to do, we would end up with the carbon, with the methyl on carbon three. So we end up with the compound with the name, its parent is butane, and it has a methyl group on position two. Notice that the name is all one word, 2-methylbutane, and there's a hyphen between the number that tells you the position of the side chain and the name. And one more thing, uh, it gets a little bit tedious to write out all these carbons and hydrogens and bonds. So after a while, we're going to miss out all the carbons and hydrogens and just put the bonds in. So here's an example of that. Right. Where we've got uh, carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, and here is the methyl group on carbon 2. So these are two representations of the same compound, and we'll start using these more as we move along. Here's another example in which we have a slightly different compound. It has the same four carbon backbone, but now there are two methyl groups on the side. And again, we're going to number it in the same way. So we've got one, two, three, four. And we're going to call it 2, 2, because there are two methyls, and we also indicate that with a di, 2, 2, dimethylbutane. And if we wanted to draw it in, a, in the stick form, we would simply draw it like this. There's the four carbon backbone, and there's one methyl, and there's another. So in the next example, we're being a bit tricky. It looks like we've got the same four carbon backbone, but in fact, the longest carbon chain is this one here, in which we've got five carbons. So this is a pentane. And again, there's just one methyl group up on the side. It doesn't really matter which end we number from this time. One two, three, 
4, 5. And so the name of this compound would be 3-methylpentane. And the line structure would look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, with the methyl group on carbon 3. Here's another example, and in this case, the longest hydrocarbon chain is this one. And that gives us two groups hanging off the side, one methyl group, and one two carbon side chain, an ethyl group. Again, we're going to number from the, the right-hand side, one, two, three, four, five, so that we've got a methyl group on carbon two and an ethyl group on carbon three. That gives us the name 3-ethyl, 2-methyl pentane. E comes before M and they come in alphabetical order. We also can draw out the hydrocarbon structure. So there's the 5-carbon backbone with an ethyl group on carbon 3 and a methyl group on carbon 2.